There are obviously many races that I could say have been my favorite over the years. So many outstanding uh, races through the, the NASCAR world. Uh, but I might have to do something a little bit more personal with that. And uh, it's, it's a race that continues to this day be brought up to myself and my dad and my family more than any other. And that's the 1993 Daytona 500. Uh, it was the second year of me driving for Coach Joe Gibbs and uh, we'd had an outstanding uh, speed weeks and were ready to, to go battle for the Daytona 500. We qualified second, uh, started beside Kyle Petty on the front row for the Daytona 500. And uh, just a tremendous race. Got down to the end of the race, uh, battling a young rookie named Jeff Gordon. Had to try to get around him so that I could get to the man that was leading, uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. And uh, at that time, uh, Dale had not won the Daytona 500 yet. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get some good pushes along the way and uh, got Dale a little bit loose going into turn three, coming to get the white flag, and then was able to make the pass. So uh, passing Dale Earnhardt, to win the Daytona 500 in 1993 is enough in itself uh, to be a tremendous thrill. I'd always dreamed of, of winning the Daytona 500, but having your dad in the booth, and my dad and Ed was calling the race that day, uh, was something that was even more special for us. And obviously I didn't know what was going on there, but he, everyone else was told to lay out and let my dad uh, bring me home to victory, uh, so to speak. And uh, to, to have that moment uh, as a father and son uh, was just incredible to, to re-watch that and go back and, and understand everything that was taking place there. It was a huge moment for myself for my entire family, uh, kind of a thank you to my dad for everything that he had done for me uh, and everything that, that my family had endured uh, in getting to that point to, to have my second victory in the Cup Series uh, be the Daytona 500, bringing Joe Gibbs his first win as a car owner. He has many more now, uh, but that was the, the very first one for him. And to do that celebrating, have my family there, uh, again, it's the thing that people bring up to me and my dad with all the other things that we were able to do uh, with my dad's 50 win and wins in the Cup Series and two championships, uh, my 32 wins and a championship, people still want to talk about that 1993 Daytona 500 more than anything. But I think it, once again, shows just what a family sport it is. Uh, so I'll fast forward that as to how special that was because it was my family to 1999 and another favorite race. Didn't win this race, uh, but it was the Homestead race in 1999, the next to the last race that year. We had a great points lead and we went on, had to finish eighth or better. We finished fifth that day and went on to win the, the championship in 1999 in the Cup Series. But my entire family was there. Uh, my sister, her kids, uh, all of my kids, my mom and dad were there, my brother Glenn, uh, my sister Patty, as I, I mentioned with her kids. So it was just a tremendous day uh, to know that all the hard work and efforts uh, had resulted in a championship. And as it had uh, came to be that this was Robert Yates' only championship. Uh, but what a tremendous thrill that was to, to bring so many different families together in winning a championship. Uh, so, so very special. But that 1993 Daytona 500, I always go back to that because that was maybe my biggest win ever. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.